Hi, welcome to our brand new Microsoft Azure Administrator AZ104 Practice Questions 2022. In this video, we are going to discuss all the dummy questions of Microsoft Azure Administrator AZ104 Practice Questions 2022. I'm your host Kushal Mehta and let's get started. Next question. You have an Azure subscription named Subscription 1. You have 5 TB of data that you need to transfer to subscription 1. You plan to use an Azure import-export job. What can you use as the destination of the imported data? Choose all that applies. And the options are Option 1 Azure Data Factory Option 2 Azure SQL Database Option 3 A Virtual Machine Option 4 Azure Blob Storage Option 5 Azure Data Lake Store and option 6, Azure File Storage. And the correct answers are option 4, Azure Blob Storage. And option 6, Azure File Storage. Explanation Azure Blob Storage and Azure File Storage are correct as Azure Export Import Job directly connects with Azure Blob or File Storage services to transfer the data. Azure Data Factory, Azure SQL Database, a virtual machine, Azure File Sync Service. Azure Data Lake Store, Azure Cosmos DB Database are incorrect options as Azure Export Import Service has the capability to connect and transfer data to only two Azure services, Blob Storage and File Share. Hence, these are not correct. Next question. You need to create an Azure Storage account that meets the following requirements. Minimize costs, supports hot, cool and archive blob tiers, provides fault tolerance if a disaster affects the Azure region where the account resides. How should you complete the command? Number 1. Kind file storage, SKU standard, GRS. Number 2. Kind storage, SKU standard, LRS. Number 3. Kind storage, V2, SKU standard, RAGRS. Number 4. Kind File Storage SKU Premium LRS Number 5. Kind Storage SKU Standard LRS Number 6. Kind Storage V2 SKU Standard GRS Number 7. Kind Storage V2 SKU Standard LRS And the correct answer is Option 6. Kind Storage V2 SKU Standard GRS Explanation Kind Storage V2 SKU Standard GRS are correct options as only Storage V2 supports all these storage classes Hot, Archive and Cold. Moreover, we need to make sure the data in the storage account is replicated to another region to save from regional failures. Next question. You have an Azure subscription named Subscription 1 that contains an Azure virtual machine named VM1. VM1 is in a resource group named RG1. VM1 runs services that will be used to deploy resources to RG1. You need to ensure that a service running on VM1 can manage the resources in RG1 by using the identity of VM1. What should you do first? And the options are Option 1. From the Azure portal, modify the access control settings of RG1. Option 2. From the Azure portal, modify the policy settings of RG1. Option 3. From the Azure portal, modify the access control settings of VM1. And the option 4. From the Azure portal, modify the value of managed identity settings of VM1. And the correct answer is option 4. From the Azure portal, modify the value of managed identity settings of VM1. Explanation. From the Azure portal, modify the value of the managed identity settings of VM1 is correct as we need to create a managed identity for the VM as the first step to enable it to deploy resources in RG1. From the Azure portal, modify the access control settings of VM1 is incorrect as we need to create a managed identity first for the VM and that can be done using managed identity settings of the VM. Hence, it is not correct. From the Azure portal, modify the access control settings of RG1 and from the Azure portal, modify the policies of settings of RG1 are incorrect options as we cannot create the managed identity 
for the VM by changing the settings of the resource group. Hence, we cannot use these options. Next question. You have an Azure subscription that contains a resource group named TestRG. You use TestRG to validate an Azure deployment. TestRG contains the following resources. You need to delete TestRG. What should you do first? And the options are Option 1. Modify the backup configuration of VM1 and modify the resource log type of VNet1. Option 2. Turn off VM1 and delete all data in Vault 1. Option 3. Remove the resource log from VNet1 and delete all data in Vault 1. Option 4. Turn off VM1 and remove the resource log from VNet1. And the correct answer is Option 3. Remove the resource log from VNet1 and delete all data in Vault 1. Explanation Remove the resource log from VNet1 and delete all data in Vault 1 is correct as we do have to delete all the backed up data of the VM along with the resource log on the VNet. Without removing the log on VNet, it will not be possible to delete the RG. Turn off VM1 and delete all data in Vault 1 is incorrect as we cannot delete the RG without deleting the log on VNet as well as the data in Vault 1. Hence, it is not correct. Turn off VM1 and remove the resource log from VNet1 is incorrect as we cannot delete the resource group until we remove the obstructing configurations and the backup data which can hamper the deletion of the vault. Modify the backup configurations of VM1 and modify the resource log type of VNet1 is incorrect as this wouldn't help in deleting the resource group giving out an error while trying. Hence it cannot be used. Question 53. You have a pay-as-you-go Azure subscription that contains the virtual machines shown in the following tables. You create the budget shown in the following exhibit. The AG1 Action Group contains a username admin at the red only. Based on the information presented in the graphic, choose the option that completes the statement below. When the maximum amount is budget 1 is reached and the options are Option 1, VM1 and VM2 are turned off. Option 2, VM1 and VM2 continue to run. Option 3, VM1 is turned off and VM2 continues to run and the correct answer is Option 2, VM1 and VM2 continue to run. Explanation VM1 and VM2 continue to run is correct as budget 1 is set to monitor resource group RG1 and hence once the max amount is reached it will trigger the app as mentioned in the action group but it is not mentioned that the app does not hence we can believe both the VMs will continue to run next question you have a general purpose VN V1 Azure storage account named storage1 that uses locally redundant storage you need to ensure that the data in the storage account is protected if a zone fails. The solution must minimize costs and administrative effort. What should you do first? Option 1. Create a new storage account. Option 2. Configure object replication rules. Option 3. Upgrade the account to general purpose V2. Option 4. Modify the republication setting of storage 1. And the correct answer is Option 3. Upgrade the account to General Purpose V2. Explanation. Upgrade the account to General Purpose V2 is correct, as General Purpose V1 does not support the ZRS redundancy model. Create a new storage account is incorrect, as we do not need to create a new storage account. Instead, we can upgrade the existing account to General Purpose V2. Configure object replication rules is incorrect as you only need to upgrade the account to v2 using portal, powershell or cli. Modify the replication setting of storage1 is incorrect as we cannot the replication rule to zrs for a v1 type of storage account. Thank you for watching this video. Please do not forget to like this video 
and subscribe to our channel.